You're watching Strauman Connections. Hello. Today, there are well over a hundred dental implant manufacturers around the world and probably more than a thousand different implants to choose from. Many have not been investigated in published clinical trials and, until recently, there have been hardly any sizable independent studies evaluating the relative performance of different brands over a long period. In this edition of Strauma Connections, we look at a new study that does exactly that. Using data from the National Insurance Agency in Sweden, a team of researchers at Gothenburg University randomly selected 427 implant cases from a population of about 25,000 patients treated nine years previously by more than 800 clinicians. A variety of implant systems were used and the initial results showing the comparative risk of implant failure over the short and long term were published in the Journal of Dental Research just over a year ago. The results were very favourable for Straumann. In the meantime, the authors have focused on the comparative prevalence of peri-implantitis and have just published their findings. We asked Dr. Michel Da, who is a professor at New York University School of Dentistry and head of medical affairs at Straumann, to explain the impact of peri-implantitis and the importance of the new publication. Peri-implantitis is an inflammation around dental implants which is characterized by bleeding, the formation of deep pockets and bone resorption. If it is not treated successfully, it leads to implant loss. So it is a serious condition. Now, in the Swedish study, almost 15% of the patients develop moderate or severe preimplantitis. And by the way, severe was defined as a bone loss of more than two millimeters and bleeding and separation. Surprisingly, the investigators observed that the extent of moderate and severe preimplantitis was different between implant systems. The predicted probability for an average patient to be diagnosed with moderate or severe preimplantitis at the nine-year examination was two to three times higher with Nobel Biocare and Astratec implant systems than with the Stroman implant system. When it came to odds ratio, the odds for moderate and severe preimplantitis were more than three times higher in patients treated with a Nobel BioCare and Astratec implant systems than with Stroman. So the outcomes are very favorable for Stroman. And uh, I would say that this and the previous publication are very relevant for dentists who base their choice on independent clinical evidence. And that brings us to the end of this edition. For all the details, please read the full publication, which is available in the January edition of the Journal of Dental Research and online at this link. And of course, you can find more information about Strauman and our tooth replacement solutions at www.strauman.com. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.